Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of our playthrough of Tyranny. Yes. We are now inside the base of another spire making our way up. Stepping lightly. I hear something going on over there. Slow Curious. and steady. Ooh, nice. Moving cautiously. Any more stuff in here? Onward. Alright, so let's see what's next. My mother always told me to stay away from spires. Not that I ever listened. Find a way to get to the top. Start it from the bottom and we hear On it. it. Sorry. Quiet down. So I've got a way to get up there. That's another room. What are those? They go away. The chamber immediately reminds you of a session hall. An intricate rune running along the floor can only mean one thing. You stand at the feet of a great spire. Each step you take echoes across a great distance. As you gaze upward, the sage-colored walls quickly give way to unending blackness. The rune in the center of the floor is inactive, and the silence of the hall offers no clues to its use or function. You feel a slight tug in your chest, a faint echo of the energy that enveloped you at Vendrian's well. Hold a moment. If my sense of direction is at all reasonable, we are standing below the spire in this region. What do you recommend? I'd start with the grooves and stones on the floor over there. If it's like the spire at Vendrian's well, whomever b built this created a mystical conduit to the top, and I think it very, very unlikely that the pattern isn't purely decorative. Let's press on. I'm gonna get this rune first. 33 lower, let's do it. Alright, so we probably need one more, it says. Eh, okay. Any bets on which sigil unleashes more scourges? Ooh. On the lookout. So I get to pick, huh? This is gonna be interesting. Let's go forward middle. You know what? I have a feeling that I need to do the entire thing without crossing any lines. Which means I need to start at a corner. I, I'm assuming. Let's see what this does. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... See what if it happens if I go... Oh, I can't, can I? I gotta. I think I have to connect it in order. Let's see what this does. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I just have to light it up. Oh, it can only go in one direction? Oh, okay. So I click on one, it lights up, and then I rotate the beam of light until everything's lit up. So I'm basically just lighting up one which glows, and then I'm spreading the beam throughout the whole of the beams of light. I thought I had to do the whole pattern without them touching twice or crossing or anything like that. Ah, uh, but look, the more times I did it, the more it glows, or no? There it goes, nothing. I hope that wasn't like a difficulty level, and the more runes. Yeah, I did see, that was a failure. 
So it's actually it looks like several shapes inside of itself. So let's see, if we start over here, and then we go down to here, and then we skip over to here, and then we skip over to here, and then we skip over to here. Okay, so can we go from there to there? From there to there? No, that doesn't work. To there. And there. To there. There. To there. 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 Hmm. There. I get the feeling this is not correct. So I have to recreate the rune from the from the uh, the rubbing thing I did. Let's try doing a circle. If I make a circle and then end the circle, well, that's not gonna work. Let's try starting on the top or the bottom. Go all the way around the circle. See, that's the part that gets me. Alright, we're gonna start here. It has an interesting way of doing it. You have to, like, it doesn't just continue the beam. So go from there to there. And then from there to there. And from there to there. And then from there to there. Alright, so now we have a choice. We haven't crossed any lines. So let's try going from this corner diagonally to here. And then from here, we're going to cross over to here. See, that's not allowed, is it? What if I leave this? What if I start here and go this way? Go all the way around. And then go from here to here. Yeah, see, that doesn't connect completely, so... From here to here. 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 Here. Back to there. There to there. Nope, because I'm missing a line right here. Darn it. To there. And I cross here as well. Okay, so I got all the shapes except the circle. And this thing right here. So I would say I could do that, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. So what if I skip this inside part right here? trapped again. Let's try the triangle.
and then the circle. And then the next bigger shape. And then, oh man, now what do we do? Ah, uh, okay, so. That seemed to work pretty well, but what if we do it in reverse? So we do this your eye shape, then the eyeball, then the triangle. So we have to start on the outside first. Darn it! Uh, let's see, well, doing that circular motion worked really well, so how can I do a circular motion with this? See, so, uh, how do you get this shape complete? So if you start here and you go there, and then there, and then back, well, then you can start the eye, Right, and then complete the top of the eye, and then do this other side, and then now you're back at the eye, and then you can complete the bottom of the eye. Oh, okay, let's try that. I hope I can remember what I was doing. So from here, we're gonna go down to here. And then from there, we're gonna go back up to here. And then we're gonna go from here down the eye. From there we're going to go to this side, this side we're going to go back up, and then from here we're going to go down, back down to the eye. Okay, so then we'll complete the top part of the eye. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Complete this side, go back up here, move down to here, go down to here. Down to here. Ah, complete the triangle. No, I messed up. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. All right, and I still. Let's see how close do I come. Okay, so I got everything except these three little notches, so I'm not doing something right. I need to draw the outside edge first. Maybe that's the key. My armor isn't getting any cleaner standing here. Shush. So I need to go the whole outside edge first, maybe. And then maintain that same circular motion. Out. and then we'll go down here and we'll follow the motion of the eye. And, oh gosh. Alright, now we go this way. Keep following the eye. Ah. Oh. So now I'm here and I still miss the inside of this and I still miss the triangle. So maybe the key is to start here and do the same thing, instead of in the corner. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I messed it up. See, that's not going to work either. 
Wow, this is incredibly freaking frustrating. Start up here. And go down. And then continue the curve. Continue the curve. Continue it. And swing back down here. And then move over one. And then do the triangle. Darn it, that, those little passage ones, like, I don't get. It's like a continuous flowing line, and I'm missing it. Well, I haven't tried this one yet. Let's try that. Triangle first. So that is going to have to be a straight line, which means I need to end on that triangle to do the straight line. I got almost positive. Okay, so I need to do maybe the circle first. I think I need to work my way outward. And then do the eyeball. No, the triangle. Triangle next. That's okay. Now the eyeball. So I got this one and I got this one, but I didn't get the big part and I missed this too. And I missed this. Oh man. Let's see. Start on this end. Try this a different way. On it. I guess I could technically do it in any order. Can I? Well, I can click one of the one. Let's say I didn't do anything. Here I am making the shapes, crazy shapes again. Oh, is it because I'm trying to make... I can see the shape on the wall. Am I trying to make the wrong freaking shape? I need to make a triangle with the sides. 
Is that all I really need to do? So the shape on the wall looks like a bat wing character with like a pyramid in the middle. Okay, but it's facing upwards. So we're going to start at this point and go down. Okay, so that's the pyramid. And then we'll go over here. And then we'll continue over. Make this shape. Uh, it doesn't look that sharp. It more looks like that. And then from there to there. And from there to the, there. Oh man, this is frustrating. So the triangle is definitely curved. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I just, this is incredibly annoying. So a whole bunch of potential shapes compared to the rubbing, like, similar to the rubbing I found. Is there, like, something that shows me what it looks like or something? No. Okay, I mean, I can see it, kind of. That's the best picture I get, that little thing right there. Almost positive that this edge is right. And I'm almost positive that the bottom is right. This part in the middle is what's giving me trouble. Because the drawing shows this as a straight line. And that's not an option. And every so, time who wants to see my bird migration map? Anybody? And no? every time I've tried to do something oh. different, like, I guess I could go from here to here. See, that doesn't look anything like the picture, though.
No. This is so incredibly frustrating. I'm sure it's incredibly frustrating for you watching as well, because I'm basically not really doing much right now, am I? So yeah, I have to somehow activate the runes. That sounds really good. But it doesn't give you any information at all. Literally none. What am I supposed to know what the rune looks like? I guess. I got it. Maybe if I run over here I can see something? No, it won't even let me click on it. Like, I can't see that picture, to be honest. This is as close as I can zoom in. Ugh. Well, I pretty much have spent an entire episode just sitting here doing nothing but trying to figure this out. You got out. it. So, I'll have to probably end it here since I can't do anything else. And I will figure out what we need to do to continue before I see you in the next episode. So everyone who is still here, thank you and I hope to see you next time.